I'm having some problems with my camera, which you can probably tell already. My voice and my mouth are out of sync. Oh, it makes me so mad. Anyway, uh, I guess just listen to what I have to say and don't watch me. That makes me upset. It was working a while ago. It was those Mormons. They came to my house on Sunday and they screwed up my computer. I've got uh, calls into, well, emails into Creative Labs, but anyway uh, on to the real business oh this like it's gonna get worse with time I better make this quick um yes evolution is apparently the way that speciation happens on the planet how does it work well, let's go over the basics DNA DNA is the blueprint the molecular blueprint for all of the um, body types that we find on the planet and it mutates uh, at a fairly constant rate, though it's random. You can uh, the rate's uh, constant just by a mathematical model. So DNA mutates as it copies itself because it's not quite perfect. It's it's near perfect, but it's not absolutely perfect in its copying mechanism. So every once in a while, mutations show up. Uh, mutation alters the growth of the body of the animal that has the mutation that's called a phenotype so the mutation in a gene in the DNA changes however slightly or however greatly the um, body of the owner of the gene and that mutation the, the, the physical ramifications of that mutation merely have to be not detrimental for that mutation to show up in a population Speciation occurs when you've got two groups, or more groups, it doesn't matter. We'll just go two for a simple example. Two groups that come from the same ancestor, uh, divided for whatever reason, uh, be it um, landscape or distance, and they are not interbreeding with each other anymore. And then add enough time hundreds of thousands, millions of years, boom, you got two new species. They won't interbreed with each other because they are too dissimilar. Whether they can actually interbreed or whether they just won't, it doesn't matter. For practical purposes, they're different species. Like a, a chihuahua and a wolf. I think technically they're the same species, but physically they're not going to mate so it doesn't matter. Two different species. And that's basically how evolution works in its nuts and bolts. And uh, hopefully this hasn't been too disturbing. Oh, gotta do something. Uh, just another quick tidbit. I did a fairly lengthy two-part one, two, one, two, two-part uh, response to Jesus Freak 777 about his uh, arbitrary distinction but between micro and macro evolution the idea hurts my brain um, and I'll put the link over there don't worry I was not having camera issues at the time and those look just fine if you're interested go ahead I got I got a few subscribers for that uh, yeah